one of the free software that can capture a screen as a recording or go to the advanced level of in productivity of streaming on podcast. So you can download it from this website to Windows, Mac OS or Linux. Once you log in or you open the application for the first time, you get this auto configuration wizard of going with you step by step of what we need to do or how to set up your recordings according to your use. So I'll ignore this and we'll go to the settings uh, step by step. Now we'll just take an overview of the interface. Here we have the main screen where the everything is captured. Now below that you can see the audio mixer. Here we have the desktop audio and we have the mic audio. You have on the left side the scenes and the sources. Now we can expand this with further details. And we have the transition of scene transitions. You have the controls of start streaming or start recording or start virtual camera or go through the studio mode. And we go to the settings. We we'll go to the each one of these uh, one by one. Go to settings, we'll open it first because just to get familiar with uh, what settings we can change or what best for us uh, when we start recording. You can see the language, of course, here, what language is support and the theme. Main thing I wanted to focus is the output. Here you have this four uh, checkbox, uh, just a confirmation is when you start streaming or stop streaming or stop recording or this one will give you confirmation messages before you stop or starting doing any action. And this one will give you automatically a record when you're streaming. As you know that when you start streaming, we start recording for you as well. Now we'll go to the main uh, stream uh, option. You have here many services to can stream to. It's in this form. And primary one I'm using now YouTube. You can go to the and connect your uh, account directly. It will take you to the page outside to connect your account. Now the output is for streaming is video bitrate and audio bitrate the most important one to select it depends of course on the resolution you output or you streaming so we'll have some details in the link below in the description we'll give you details of each streaming resolution and what is required as a video bitrate as when the audio bitrate is basically 160 is good enough for most videos or streaming and but what you go in higher of course is better for audio quality you can see here as the high, uh, the most thing is a recording path. When you're recording, where exactly your file is being saved to? You can select the file and save it. And here you have so the recording quality. You want it to be with a smaller size and less quality, high quality, whatever the quality required depends. Of course, what size of file will be extracted for you. And here, by default, will be MKV format. And for me, I just change it to MP4. As more for like unique, or we can say most platform is using this uh, uh, encoding of this recording format. Now we'll go to the audio. Audio here, we have important one, which is here. Uh, here you have the desktop, which I kept it as default to capture the uh, desktop sounds. And have in case you have a second desktop, you can also use it here. Here we have uh, selected the audio, which is the mic. Uh, you can keep it default, but I selected the mic or the place you're actually using the mic from. It depends, of course, on your uh, setup. Because you can select more than multiple audio selection in case if you have more inputs. Now the video, here you have the base canvas resolution, which is you can select from this list. And here you have the scaled resolution output. Can be lesser than the resolution is for the base one if you want to output this video. Then for me, I just match it together. The frame rate, of course, you will confirm in here. You select it from this list. Hotkeys, of course, you know, is explained as shortcuts. And this one also, and advanced. This is nothing uh, much about I need to focus on right now. Now we we'll start with the scenes, so you have more understanding. 
Now, scenes you can have the main display, which is a display capture, which is the main screen currently being captured. Now, in case I have a second screen, currently I'm connecting with a second screen. Now, if you want to capture my, this is my LG 4K monitor. Now here we have selected the scene, and second one we have to select the source. What exactly in the scene? The scene just we have to explain what is that for me, what is that so I can select it, what kind of scene I set up. Maybe the camera, maybe the monitor, maybe a page, maybe a, a photo, whatever is that. But the source of that monitor is you have to do the display capture. Now display capture 2. Now here from the list you can select the, ca the second screen you have connected. So as you can see the page or the photo is big so we can just arrange it or resize it to fit the screen. So now this is the second screen. You can see my mouse now here. Now what we can do as well, we can add a camera. Let me add my laptop camera to this uh, main display. We can add here source of a video capture device. Let's say my laptop camera. As you can see, this is the camera here. You can do configuration of the adjusting the lightning, contrast and all that here. And this is here and say OK. Here you can adjust the size. Resize it on the size here. Let's say I want to crop it, you just click or Alt. And this will crop for you. You can do the other side as well. And move it and place it on the corner here. So here we have a camera set up on the main display. Let's say I want to do it another camera I have set up. Let's do another scene here. Let's say main camera. So main camera I need to add, I have added something called Droid Cam OBS for the main camera. I set up this to my phone. Let's say my phone. Now I have added this camera now here. Let me just scale it and move it this way. It's good. So here this is the main camera I'm looking at. And there you can see I'm switching between different scenes. So let's say now I need to do presentation. Let's go, I have another scene. And you can click here, the, let's say, let's go with a window capture. I want to capture the window. I have it on this, let's say this one. So let me, I want to add this one to my window here. So this is a Chrome extension. So I added this one as a window capture. So I can switch between this camera and go back to and show you the web page. Again, we need to do something different now if we want to add images as well to show us our like uh, presentation. So this is the first photo. I just keep it here, adjust it here and there. Let's add another photo or image. Now I will add it, uh, this photos. You can arrange it the way you want it to appear first and or just hide it from here and that will show for you the image you want to um, present it on the video or the stream. 
Uh, there's different kind of option we can also explore here. And um, this is like, if you want to go adjust some filters. So here you can add, uh, you can say audio filter, compressor, uh, gain, and noise suppression, all this time of related to the audio. And as well you can do, let me do it here, go to this. Let me go to the second monitor and show you here. Here we can have as well something called video effects from chroma keys and uh, color uh, image render quality. Let's go color correction and see what we can do with this. Let's so bring it back to this screen and switch to the main display. How let it be here? Now here we can do the correction. This is additional to what we have seen before. In case of the option not given to you, the brightness. I did so much bad things here. Let me cancel this. See how is it? It's too much bright. You can just go back to this uh, filters. I'm just here, we can just remove it. And we go back to normal. Now, this is the filters. Now, let's go with, uh, I want to add something to my uh, main camera here. Like, uh, how we can add the main camera, we can add a text. Text, we can. Right, in text you want here. Let okay, me just type the channel name, select the font. And we say OK. Here we can see the text. We can resize it. This way. Uh, let's add the logo of this uh, photo. Let's go with the image as well. As you can see here now, this is a logo. And this is how it looks, final way. Uh, now we score with the something. Um, as we have seen most of this, uh, let's go, i switch off this, my phone. What else we can do here? Now here we can go with the streaming, after you have set up your uh, channel uh, connected to this, you can start with the streaming. Streaming you can help you, of course, there is docking station of uh, status, YouTube, live control, chat, everything will appear here once you connect to the streaming. And just some helpful tool uh, while you're doing the stream. Uh, recording, uh, virtual, as we explained, this is something for the... I've explained or not? No, I've not explained. So virtual camera is actually just used for uh, online meetings like Zoom and Microsoft Meeting, our team, and uh, Skype and all this kind of software, you can set up the camera to be uh, actually through OBS. So you can have the control here in OBS, and you already have in the meeting on uh, that platform. So studio mode here, we can see as on the right side, you can see the program itself which is live going on right now. Left side is what you can set up to take it to your live uh, control. So let's say for example I have a presentation so I can do the transition and that will show right now to the viewer uh, of the channel of the presentation. So again I can do another one. Uh, my presentation I can take this and take it again transition here and I saw here, I can take this, uh, let's say, the web page and can do it again, transition to this web page. And this way you can have a control of what the viewer is seeing. Again, I can go back to the main, this way. Or I can go to the main display and transition this way here. Now you can see here me. Let's go back to the main camera and transition again. So in this way you have so much control of what you can present to live audience uh, for your stream or podcast.
So the main thing you can see below is the frame rate and CPU usage, usage here and CPU which usage and recording time. And the live stream is in case of a started live, you can see it rolling. And uh, of course the connection and how much the data is bandwidth going on. Currently I'm I've been recording from different uh, another OPS software. I open two OPS here. So one is recording this and one is there. It's just one small information uh, in case of you facing an issue running a stream or some something, you can go with the one as administrator before you start this. Or you can go to the search bar to avoid this always this mistake of not running as administrator. You go to the OPS search and go open file location. And from here, you can just select it one time only. Go properties, go to the advanced, and here on it always as administrator and say apply, continue, and OK. So every time you run this application, it's going through as administrator. If you want to add another thing, like you can add, uh, let's say, again, you want to stream again. Let's say you want to add it to the main Let's add a game captured First thing, let's run again I have one small game here So let's go and do this Game captured So game captured Capture my full screen application specific window. I have this game is here available right now. So of course this is depends on different games. Each game has to setting which one is working, which is not. So once this is selected, you can select OK, go to mount from the studio. And let's go and see the game. As you can see, I'm playing the game here. So here how we, we have different option to capture like uh, streaming or podcast gaming or whatever is it. This is just uh, go through some main uh, settings here for you to uh, start get you started with this application and see how it's useful for you uh, in the long run. And if you have any question, if you have anything else you want to ask about this application, just give me a comment below and we'll see if we can answer it or give you a new another video explaining what additional things you want to do on this application. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.